So I made a Bitcoin trading bot, and this is how much it made in a week. This video is sponsored by Collective2, the world's first anti-hedge fund. Simply select a strategy on Collective2, connect your brokerage account, and watch trades as they happen. If you're interested, check them out at collective2.com. In this video, you're gonna find out how much I made in a week, the code, the actual source code and how the trading bot works. And I'm gonna explain, once again, how the trading bot works, some of the indicators, and uh, coding uh, languages and libraries that we use to uh, build this bot, okay? Before we get started, I'm gonna play a clip of the actual bot trading and just fast forward it so it's a little bit short. Um, you'll be able to see the actual trades it placed with the candlesticks and then we'll talk more about uh, how much it made and how it works. Okay, so how much did it make? It actually lost money, it lost 24 cents for the whole week, okay? Obviously that's not a super long time frame. Could it do better in a future time? We don't know, I'd have to run it longer, but it did lose money. Obviously in one of my most popular videos, I show one of my trading systems and it actually made money. This one lost money, okay? So let's talk about the kind of how the bot works and then we'll go more into the coding portion. So this trading system uses what's called a grid bot, okay? Basically at the start of each market day, it draws grid on the chart, right? And these grids are basically spaced out by a parameter, okay? So they're, they're spaced out by a value and it's in a percentage kind of format, okay? So it'll draw, draw those grid lines. And once the price of the asset, in this case, Bitcoin, crosses above one of those grid lines, it actually buys. And then when it crosses below, it sells, okay? We're hoping for a trending movement between grid lines so we can get profits. And obviously there will be losers if we buy and then it goes down below the grid line. Now, it does not short because you can't short Bitcoin. Obviously, if you trade the futures portion of it, you can. But from my knowledge, and I, I use Coinbase for this, this trading system, uh, you can't short Bitcoin. So it can only go long. So if it crosses below and it's not a position, it just won't buy it only buy on the upside. Okay, so it's a very, very simple trading system. And it's one that I use with some of my more real trading systems, uh, where I trade more of my capital on futures. Okay, I have some trading systems that use the grid system. Now there's another rule that this has and it only trades on Wednesdays. Now, why is that? So basically from my back testing, I, I took a look at historical data and when I traded every day, it didn't do that well. But when I traded one day a week, specifically Wednesdays, Mondays worked pretty well too, but Wednesdays was better. Um, out of sample, it did a lot better. So I'm like, all right, let's run it just on Wednesday. So you notice in the in the little clip before of the trading system, it would cross above the grid line a lot, but it would not uh, buy. And that's because generally it wasn't a Wednesday. So that's another rule I added. Obviously during that week, um, we lost money, unfortunately. Um, it's only one week of data, so it's a very, very small sample size. You know, running it for a month or a year would be more interesting, but um, you know, those are the two rules. So we have the grid system and then it only trades on, on, on Wednesdays. And that's just from testing, right? From, um, you wanna take a statistical approach on these trading systems. You wanna have odds in your favor. And the only way to do that is to back test, optimize and try it out of sample uh, to see if you're at an advantage, right? If we traded this every single day, um, from my results, from my back tests, um, it would have lost a lot more money. Um, unfortunately, I wanted to make money, but it didn't this week. So that's kind of how the trading system works. Um, that's it in a nutshell. In terms of improvements, how we can make it better, obviously it'd be more interesting to try it on a longer time frame. number one. Number two, try it on more assets um, like Ethereum, Litecoin, that sort of thing. Obviously cryptocurrencies are in a bit of a bear market right now. So only going long is a bit tough um, from our, our trading system or from those results. I think we had one profitable trade and two losing trades. 
Um, so ideally, we'd like to, um, you know, try it on different assets to um, diversify a little bit and, and get rid of that, you know, dependence on Bitcoin. And then number three, uh, trying different, maybe more parameters or different time frames. This is trading on 60 minute candlesticks. We could try um, on, on more candlesticks, maybe longer time frame, maybe shorter time frame. That would just have to come down to testing. Okay. So let's now talk about the source code. So the code for the bot is below in my description. Um, basically uses a couple libraries, the main one being Backtrader. This is a platform, a free open source Python platform to run trading systems and to backtest them. I use then a couple libraries that are built on top of Backtrader, namely BT plotting. This allows us to run the strategy live. And then I use CCX store, um, which is another library that allows us to connect to popular um, cryptocurrency brokerages. So in, in this example, I use Coinbase Pro um, and you'll see the config there. If you're using Binance or another um, popular brokerage, there may be some settings you have to change in the config file. Obviously, if you're not a programmer, this isn't for you. Um, I'm not trying to like, you know, uh, hold your hand the whole way. But if you are a programmer, if you are a developer, you're looking to learn, uh, the source code is below. You can take a look at it. It's commented a little bit and you can see how it works. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and found value. Um, if you did, please leave a comment below. And should we, should we run this longer? Like, you know, we only ran it for a week. Yeah, we lost 26 cents on $1,000, not much, but uh, maybe I need to run it for a month, right? Let me know in the comments below if I should or if I should work on another trading system or trade Ethereum or Litecoin. I'm not sure. Uh, just let me know in the comments below. And once again, we'll see you next week. Have a good one, guys.